Hey everyone, have you ever wondered what the difference is between the 20 watt, the 30 watt, and the 50 watt fibers are? Well stick around and I'll walk you through it. The three things you're going to want to consider when you're making your purchase are going to be depth, efficiency, and durability. So the higher power options on the 50 watt will give you deeper engravings with fewer passes than let's say the 20 watt. Some metals are also harder to engrave, so with these you're going to want the 50 watt. But if depth really isn't a problem and all you want to do is light etching, then the 20 watt would actually work perfectly for you. Efficiency is easy to overlook, especially if you're just looking at the results. So don't forget to keep this in mind. So if efficiency is important to your work, then this is something you want to consider. So for example, it might take 10 passes to do the same thing on a 20 watt machine that it would take to maybe two passes on a 50 watt. So before we discuss durability, let's review what we've covered so far. On a 20 watt, it's going to take many more passes to get the same results that it would take less passes to do on a 50 watt. And you also might have to dial that power up quite a bit more to get those same results as well. Because of this, this means you're going to be running that 20 watt a lot harder and a lot longer, so you're going to wear it down a lot faster. So if you need deeper and faster engraving, then the 50 watt might be the better option for you. Depth, efficiency, and durability. Review these carefully when you're making your purchase. Now the answer might always seem to be to upgrade to the 50 watt. That's not always the case. The 20 watt can handle whatever you throw at it and it can do it with ease. But whatever you decide to go with, you're going to be happy with it. And don't forget, we're here to help you out in case you need anything. <laughs>